Some treacherous road conditions brought on by wet, wintry weather led to several accidents in the region today. But Eyewitness News reporter Bob Aaron tells us Kanawha County commissioners say one crash where an SUV was hit by a falling tree did not need to happen. Hazardous driving conditions weren't that hard to see and weather issues became clear for me before I could get out of my frozen gate. A wintry mix brought on multiple crashes in several counties as drivers dealt with freezing rain, sleet, slush, ice and snow. Although there wasn't much snow, roads were slick. For some of us, the day didn't bring much more than rain, but even that could be problematic when it came to down trees. A huge one fell on a passing sport utility vehicle on Cane Fork Road. Deputies say it injured a pregnant woman and knocked out electric service in part of Loudendale. Her injuries were described as non-life threatening by deputies. County Commission President Kent Carper was angered and frustrated by the news. Back in September, the county pointed out to the Department of Transportation's Division of Highways that the area where the tree fell was a major problem spot and urged them to trim back overhanging trees after residents complained of frequent roadblocks and power losses. I'm grateful that this young woman wasn't killed and her baby, but I'm angry that this situation continues. We warned them this was inevitable, foreseeable, they've got to fix this. What will the commission do next, do you think? We will contact DOT again, remind them of their responsibility, and take it perhaps to the governor's office. Linemen had to stop traffic for a prolonged period to make repairs. Freezing rain and other wintry weather could be an issue overnight especially in southeast West Virginia. In Charleston, Bob Aaron, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Bob, and we'll be reaching out to the State Division of Highways for a response.